Okay guys, welcome back to Orange X. And all we are left to do now is that ju we just have to implement this paper slider. So I have gone ahead and given this paper slider a width of kind of full 100%. Okay. I'll give in So I've given this thing a width of like full 100% and such that it kind of stretches out uh, to the total width of the container and all we all we are now left to do with is to connect the paper slider with a javascript and so let's do that right now so if you have to have to do that first you will have to reference the paper slider so document dot get element by id and as you will remember that we have given this thing already an id so the so the id is like paper slider and just type that in So now we'll put in the value. Okay. So the value function will get get the value, and I'll just first alert and print the value. So I'll put it in a variable. So number of days of forecast equals to. Okay. So it's a really long variable, but then kind of it just it is kind of auto descriptive, so it's worth it. So let's see okay so now if you just go and refresh so now if i just give this a value of 7 and then put the search okay so the value output is like 7 so everything is working fine so i'll just remove this part now and replace this thing with number of days of forecast okay so now the number of days of forecast should be controlled by the slider so right now we are having like count is equal to 7 and if I just do the search right now with a name of like New York and give this a search okay. since the count was 1 the count out here is also 1 si and the since the slider was 1 so count out here is 1 and we will have only one data card okay. and if I just boost this up to full like 20 okay. so here it is 20 and do the search again okay. so we now see that there are kind of a lot of data cards and if you just count them it will surely be 20 okay so that's is that's it guys they are all about implementing together the iron ajax and iron input and paper slider and all together and basically one of the most important things was connecting the params with an with a uh, object that is variable in itself and then giving the object uh, that is connected to the params out here different different values so that's the catch out here and actually i was not able to find any kind of reference about this thing even on stack overflow so i just came be, came up with a solution of myself so definitely like the tutorials guys and keep subscribing to the channel and what more do i say okay okay so bye thank you